guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. For today's video, if you guys are wondering, we are finally putting up the Christmas tree and I thought I would take you guys along with me decorating. I love Christmas. It is my favorite holiday. I'm super excited. We are past the 1st of November, so it's okay to put up your Christmas tree and your Christmas decorations, so that's exactly what I'm doing. This year, I mentioned to you guys that I am having my family over for Christmas. We normally hang out in the basement. It's just our, you know, it's our little hangout place. So I thought this year I would do the Christmas tree downstairs instead of upstairs, since last year I did it in the living room upstairs, but I thought I would bring it downstairs. So I found a nice little corner for it. It's gonna camouflage the electrical box. I normally start the Christmas tree. I put it together. I fluff it up to make sure that it looks full and doesn't have sort of holes in between and then once that's done I put the garlands up once the garlands are up I put the ornaments and then I go into putting the dried flowers which I call them fillers and after that I just top it off with my Christmas star so that's my whole process I'm sure a lot of you go about putting the Christmas tree the same way but if you don't this is my way anyway so we're gonna get started I am super excited we're gonna put some Christmas music on and we are gonna get into the whole Christmas spirit so let's do this So this year I thought I would put the Christmas tree downstairs in the basement. Last year I put it upstairs in the living room. But I think we're going to be hanging out downstairs a little bit more this year. So I thought I would put it in that corner there, covering the electrical panel. I hate that box. It drives me nuts. But anyway, we're going to do what we can to hide it and camouflage it. So I thought the Christmas tree would be perfect in that corner there. Now we are going to unbox the Christmas tree and put it in place. The fun part is trying to figure out which piece goes where. So here are some of the decorations from last year. Those are the garlands, the wood beaded garlands. I also bought some new dried flowers that I'm gonna put into the tree. And I just thought they were so beautiful. These are fun. I'm not sure if I did a haul on them, but anyway, I got these. Then you guys also saw the, these Christmas trees from last year. Not sure where I'm gonna put them yet. Then these are the new ornaments that I got this year. And then these are all of the last year's ornaments and Ziploc bags. I just wanted to sort of organize them by color and by ornament. So anyway, we're going to get started.
So I hope you loved how the Christmas tree turned out. I am super happy. It's not the huge change from last year, but there were little things that I changed up and tweaked here and there to make it a little bit more different this year. For this part of the video, I'm going to be doing a clothing haul. So if you're not interested, then I guess the video is going to end here for you guys. But the ones who do want to see what I recently got as far as clothing, accessories, I'm going to start off with my first piece. It is this super comfy jumpsuit that I got and I thought it was the coolest jumpsuit. I don't know, these days I've been feeling the jumpsuits. So I got them pretty much in every color. I wore one in while I was doing the Christmas tree. I have it in this sort of charcoal. This one has a different look from the other one. It has a chain that sort of goes all around and it ties in the back. It has this whole grunge look that I love, especially in the winter times when I wear my Doc Martens or Converse. The color, it's um, sort of like a charcoal black. The bottom of the pant, it's more of a straight leg pant. I would say even more wide than straight leg compared to the other ones where it goes a little bit more narrow at the bottom. For the clothing, I pretty much got everything at Shein. You guys know about Shein. I love that store. It is affordable clothing, very fashionable. If you're like me who like to change things up a lot, I think that they're definitely your go-to store. So this was my first piece. Then, of course, since I told you guys that I am very much into jumpsuits lately, I had to get it in a blue denim. If you have bought denim online, you know it's either a hit or miss when it comes to jeans. It can be very cheap looking. The fit can be completely wrong. I just loved how both of them fit perfectly. Oh, by the way, all of the clothing that I got are size extra small. Every single one of them. So just to give you a referral as to how an extra small looks. So anyway, this one is a little bit more loose fitting. It's super comfy. This one has more, I would say, of an old school look where it goes a little bit more balloon. Where it's a little bit, you know, ballooner at the top and then it narrows down the bottom. But such a cool look. It reminds me of sort of like Levi's, like an old Levi's jumpsuit or something. Love the jean fabric. So nice. Not cheap at all. And um, I just love both of them. I've been wearing this one a little bit more often. The jean has a little bit more of a softer touch to it, but this one is just as cool as well. So anyway, super easy, super comfortable. You just grab it. You don't have to worry about a top, what bottom you're gonna wear. Just throw the jumpsuit on and a coat and you're ready to go. So jumpsuits are definitely my go-to when it comes to you know the winter time and stuff like that. Now I'm going to move on to my next piece. I got this amazing two-piece blazer set. It comes with these trousers and it's sort of like a very sesame color, sort of ivory sesame. I thought it was going to be a little bit more whitish ivory, but it came a little bit more of a, it has a sort of yellowish undertone. I'm not sure if it's picking up on screen, but anyway, I love the fit of these so good again extra small, fits perfectly, not too tight, not too loose, exactly how I wanted it. And then it has the cropped blazer that goes with it. I had gotten two things that I'm showing you. So I got this one and I got, I got a dress. And I was thinking of maybe wearing them for Christmas Eve with sort of like a red pop lipstick. Not sure, depends how I feel. I don't know if you guys are like me, where it depends on how you feel that day. I might wanna wear a dress, I might wanna wear pants. So I like to have options. So I got these two thinking that I was going to wear either or. So either the, the suit or the dress. I'm going to show you the dress. A lot of people are probably going to be like, this is more of a summer dress. It is this beautiful black floral dress. And it has a sort of satiny feel to it. The balloon sleeves. It's long and it has a little ruffle at the bottom here. Super cute. Has a cutout at the midsection. Just a little bit of a sexy touch to it, which I love. It's just going to depend on how I feel. If I want to be very feminine and girly, I'm going to go more with a dress. And if I want to be a little bit more sophisticated, more edgy, I'm probably going to go more with the suit set. So those are my two pieces. Moving on to my next piece, I got these awesome jeans. They sort of have a wide leg and then there's the sh sort of shreddedness at the knee. They are high-waisted. They fit Again, amazing. These are an extra small as well. I always have trouble finding jeans that actually fit the waist area. So either they're too big on the waist, fit perfectly on the legs, or they're too big on the legs, I mean too small on the legs, and then fit perfectly at the waist. So it's always a lose-lose. <laughs> but these pants fit 
perfect at the waist, perfect at the leg. They have a wideness at the bottom here, so they're super cool to put over some sneakers, even over boots. Love the wash on them. The color's great for the winter if they're not too light love them we're gonna move on to coats they're my go-to's i think in the winter time they are the perfect piece to just throw on and you look super stylish so a coat and a hat and a good pair of shoes but anyway you guys know what i mean i think a coat is the most important thing in the winter time so i'm gonna start off with my first one if you watched my other try on haul i had gone to come shopping with me to zara and h&m there was a pink coat that i was debating on and it was 160 dollars and i could not wrap my head around that coat because the quality was not the greatest it was driving me nuts so i ended up bringing that coat back it was just not worth it for me so i end up finding a pink coat very similar except this one has a lining which is a plus and it is like way cheaper so we love a good bargain it fits so amazing and to be honest i actually love this one more i like the length of it the other one was a little bit too oversized and i found that the length was not exactly the length that i normally like it sort of stopped more at the knee versus mid calf coats and i love it it's this sort of dusty pink i end up getting it for a better price i will definitely link all of my clothing and all the accessories if i can find them and down below for my next piece i got this simple black oversized wool coat i'm gonna admit that these two coats are not super warm but like i said what i like to do is just sort of layer things up with like long sleeves hoodies you just layer it up and then you put this at you know as your last piece and it sort of feels warm is it really warm no but the important thing is that you look good i love that it's oversized i love that you can tie it it's just a great black coat i have every single color but black i don't have much of if i do have a black coat it either has like pinstripes in it or it has some checkered so i wanted a little something simple i have this sort of puffer vest that I love to wear and I like to layer it up with a puffer vest so I thought just a simple black coat would look perfect. Talking about puffer coats, I absolutely love this coat. <clears throat> this super amazing puffer coat, it's in this color, I would say cream. It feels like you are wearing your duvet on you. It's just like a blanket and it's so comfy, so cozy. This is definitely a warm coat. It goes all the way to the mid calf. It also has a tie at the waist. So if you don't want to feel like, the, you know, the Michelin man or like a big marshmallow, you can cinch it in at the waist, which I did. Near my house, they were having a Christmas village. There's like little artisan shops and I wore it there and it was freezing that day. It's super warm and it's stylish at the same time. I love with the monochromatic beige ivory look. I think this is perfect. The only thing that I would say I'm not too crazy about is it doesn't have pockets. I love a jacket that has pockets. It's one of those things my coats have to have pockets. But anyway, aside that, it is perfect, feels warm, feels luxurious, doesn't feel cheap. So far, all these three coats are like very good. Now we are going to move on to the whole accessories. I'm going to start off with this super cute little purse. It's like a fuzzy teddy purse. Underneath it has like a little leather, just a little, I say leather, it's not, it's full leather. So it has this and then it has a long strap. I'm going to go get the strap actually. So it also comes with a long strap. You can either wear it like this, carry it like this, or you can put the strap. I just think carrying it like this, it's just the cutest little bag. I ended up paying it $30. I got it at Winners and I love the color. I was looking for something to match my coat with and that's exactly what I paired it with the puffer coat. It just looks very wintry, snuggly, and I just could not pass it up. So I had to get this little bag. Moving on to my next piece, I had to get this super cute pink fedora hat. It has this really beautiful ribbon around it. I end up paying it $19.99 at Winners. It is a Juicy Couture hat. I just fell in love with the color. I don't have a pink hat. And it's like, I don't have enough hats, right? I mean, the way I see it is you can never have too many hats. I'm super happy. For $20, I got this beautiful hat. So I'm going to stay in the whole Winners. This is not clothing, but I still wanted to share these. I got these super cute little slippers. They look a little bit like the Ugg ones. The company name is Cloud9. 
and I got these at Marshalls. I hadn't seen any leopard ones. I had seen some tan ones, some beige ones, even some pink ones, but leopard I didn't, and they are super comfy. They feel expensive. I ended up paying these $39.99. I usually buy like a couple of different slippers, but they're a little bit cheaper, but they end up getting ruined all the time. So I wanted a little bit of a more luxurious slipper. These were super cute and they had my name written all over it with the whole leopard. In the summertime, I love to wear flip-flops in the house. I don't like wearing socks. I am one of those people that don't like walking around with just socks. I have to have some sort of barefoot. So whether it's in slippers or in flip-flops, those are usually my go-tos. Moving on to my last purchase, I was looking everywhere for these. They are these sequin converse and they are in almost mint condition. I got these on Facebook Marketplace. There was a girl that was selling them. She ended up selling them for $150, which is not cheap, but I was looking everywhere. They are discontinued. If you wanna like sort of dress it up, but dress it down wearing sneakers, I thought these were super cute. I thought they were perfect for the holidays. Some of you might be like, what are you thinking? But I just, I was looking for a pair of sequin converse sneakers first of all they are super comfy i love converse i cannot get enough of converse i wear them also in the winter time i have a few pairs of converse that are made out of like faux leather and those got me through winter you put on a insole you put a couple of socks warm socks on and i just think they're super comfy my husband loves converse i love converse i wanted a pair of sequin ones that's why sometimes facebook marketplace you should definitely go check out what they have so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video i tried to incorporate both so for my home decor followers and also for my fashion ones i hope you loved this video if you did please give it a thumbs up thank you all so much for watching you the best i love you always have an amazing day Mwah. see you next time